they want to do is when a council house becomes vacant that's worth more than the average of her home in that area, they want it to be sold off and that money then reinvested to build more council homes. And I've been talking to Policy Exchange, the think tank who's come up with this idea this morning, and they say that the idea behind it is really twofold. Firstly, about fairness, they say that everybody has to compromise in some way um, over how big their house is, where they want to live, and so it's only fair that those in social housing do that too. And secondly, they say because uh, there will be money raised by selling off the more expensive uh, social housing, then that can obviously be used to boost the construction industry, who can build new ho homes for the councils, and also to cut waiting lists. But in many ways, I think the big question is, this idea is all very well, but what's the chances of it actually happening in reality? Well, the Grant Shapps, who is the housing minister, has been making some quite positive noises, saying that it's blindingly obvious that councils should try and be efficient when it comes to social housing. But the official statement is a little bit less committal, I would say. So Grant Shapps has put out this statement to say, I've been determined that we get Britain building and help the thousands of families who for years have been left languishing on social housing waiting lists. That's why we've introduced radical reforms, including investing £19.5 billion of public and private funding into an affordable housing programme and deliver up to 170,000 homes. On top of this, councils looking to sell vacant social housing could now keep the receipts to invest in affordable housing, regeneration or paying down housing debt in their area. I think the other sticking point about whether this uh, proposal becomes a reality may be the Lib Dems as well. They could be a bit more uneasy about this kind of policy than the Conservatives. And we've already had people on Twitter, such as John Prescott of Labour, saying that he worries this could lead to poor people being kicked out of rich areas. And also the National Housing Federation, who say that this could be a form of social cleansing. In other words, getting poorer people to move into so-called kind of ghettos, places where the housing isn't as expensive and then there's fear that that can lead to more segregation.